Hey guys, so we're here with a very, very important video. Um, so I was checking out the quartering, so I went out of my way to kind of go and look up some things on the whole Blizzard situation. Blizzard won't reverse Hearthstones, Hearthstones pro uh, players' uh, protest suspension. This is a big deal. It this is this shouldn't be happening. Blizzard boss shifts some blame for initial decisions to Chinese publishing partner. Blizzard president Jay Allen Brack said in an interview with PC Gamer this weekend that the company will not be reversing a six-month suspension for NG Blitz Chong, Y Chong and two Hearthstone player casters that were involved in the Hong Kong related protests on a live esports stream last month. In explaining that decision, Brack reiterated the message that Blizzard supports free speech and encourages employees and players to say what they want in all kinds of ways and all kinds of places. The one exception to that, he said, is official broadcasts including Blizzard-sponsored eSports events, which the company wants to be focused on the games. So, why didn't you give them a warning then? If you don't want anything political, why not just give them a warning? Why not just give them a warning? You see what I mean? Because what this does is it, it shows that people can't have free speech or have feelings even on national television or national official stream or whatever they want to call it or the official broadcast. Okay, so you rather even go say it on Twitch or YouTube or whatever platform it's on and you, you just don't want it on your broadcast of competition. Okay, okay, cool. But still it just it's just censorship at the end of the day. Where does it matter where he says it, you know? And explaining that decision, Bragg reiterated that he wants people saying more focused on the game. So let's get back to that. More focused on the games. It's not It's not so much about being focused on the games. The fact that he is a popular gamer coming out on a live broadcast showing that he is against the censorship in China currently. I think is admirable and should be promoted, if anything, by Blizzard. But no, they want to be idiots and <laughs> destroy their company. Anyways, again, it's not about the content the Chong's mess message, Brack said. Okay, if it's not, you just, you're kind of running in circles because just a couple paragraphs ago, you j I mean, that I just got done reading, according to you, you don't want his message, free speech, on your official broadcast. That's what you just said. But now you're backtracking. All right. I see what's going on. It's about the fact that it was not around the games. <laughs> okay, dude. Like this is so I didn't I didn't know that corporations were were this dumb. I didn't know it was this bad. Maybe I should really look at news more. They would become times for people to make a statement about whatever they wanted to do on whatever issue. That's just a path that we don't want to go down. We really want the content of those official broadcasts to be focused on the games and keep that focus. You mean keep your investors happy. So what he's basically trying to say is, I don't, I don't want anything controversial because if it's controversial, it can make investors back out. It can make us use that sweet Chinese money. You know, like, this is basically damage control for, hey, we have investors, we have people from China putting money into this. We don't want to cause any controversy because that affects our bottom dollar. That That is what Brack is saying. That's all he's saying. Yeah, I mean, I don't see anything else that he's saying. That is exactly what he just said. But, like, you know. He had to word it in a way that makes it seem like it's something else for the general public. And this will probably go over the general public's eyes versus, you know, me or someone the quartering or young Yia, which they striked. Uh, like, 
it, it will go over the general public's eyes, but for YouTubers or people with a level head brain, they will clearly see what Brack is discussing and what he's saying. It's completely obvious what he's saying. Like, it's sad, but hey. Anyways, let's get more into it. Brack's interview comes after he issued a vague apology from the BlizzCon stage Friday in which he accepted accountability for BlizzCon's decision and said the company would do better in the future. The decision to keep the suspicion in place... Suspicious... <laughs> Sorry guys, suspension in place comes despite pressure from BlizzCon protesters, pro Hearthstone players, Blizzard employees, Twitter hashtaggers, and a bipartisan group of U.S. legislators. Huh. It's just, and look here, Brack also said NetEase was to blame for a Weibo post from Blizzard China shortly after BlizzCon's on-stream protest, which suggested the company would always respect and defend the pride of China. Brack said directly that Blizzard did not authorize the post. We did not approve it. We would not have approved it had they asked. Huh. It looks like to me that the internet is out of its golden age and we are in a complete state of censorship. Um, and it's only going to get worse. Like I said, I was checking out the Cordering's video. And let's let's go check him out for more some more information on everything that's you know been going on. What is this exactly? There we go. But yeah, man, this is this is where we're at, you know. And uh, YouTube used to be good. All these different sites, everything like everything used to be good. On the myriad of acts of censorship carried out on the internet and in every other in other forms every day. So we have J. Allen Brack lying. Pretty much, Brack is lying. Pretty much, like that. That's what it comes down to. He's lying to save his ass. And if any other gamer or commentator thinks otherwise, I'm afraid you're idiots. This is clear. I wonder what the comments are saying. I just want to read. Probably trying to make me go by the paywall. Oh, it actually works. I wonder if you guys can see this. Okay. I'm just gonna read a couple. Blizzard really dispelling the notion they've lost their independence to greed with that one. <laughs> oh man. Reading between the lines of Blizzard bullshit, it comes down to this. Dude, I'm glad that people see the bullshit going on. All these American corps bow down to China really sickens and disgusts disgusts me. Yeah, well, yeah, clearly. I mean, China is becoming a new superpower, so the thing is, my question is, the U.S. going to back down and just say, oh, they control our economy. We just got to do what they say. Or are you guys going to have a, a back to stand on and say, hey, no, this isn't cool. Because America ultimately is a democracy. Now, yes, that the capitalism and democracy of this nation is slowly dwindling, but we still are considered a democratized nation. So there's no reason for a U.S. company to even condone what is going on with Blake Shank, the Hong Kong protests. Like, the U.S. Should, like, U.S. legislators should be, ah, I can't say that word, should be saying, hey, you know, China, we don't support what you're saying. Of course, we can't intervene because that's not our place. But at least have the decency to say, hey, we, like, we're not going to ban Blitz Chong because he, we're American and that's part of our values is free speech. But you're trying to tell me that free speech goes out the window because you're trying to save the bottom dollar on a live broadcast, an official broadcast? Breck, get the fuck out of here. You're no longer American or a Democrat or 
you don't believe in democracy, you don't believe in free speech. Like, you're out of here. That They're trying to democratize Hong Kong. That's what they're protesting. And you are an American company, and you completely went against that. That is insane. That's insane that an American company, and the fact that they got away with it, it's insane. Because everyone's on their cell phones, you know. Oh, news, forgot about it. Gone. Like, dude, this is crazy. I didn't know it was this bad. And we, it, it's just completely going over our head because we got to work. We got to make videos. We got to do this. We got to do that. And it's. But I'm glad people are reading in between the lines and seeing this shit for what it is, you know. Um, at least there's still some level headed people. I'm not really. Uh, let's see, there are some full of shit. So many broadcasts have been about players promoting gay awareness and other social political stances. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. When people can find the hypocrisy, it just makes Blizz look really bad. I mean, hell, I love fucking Overwatch. But if I have to stop playing Overwatch just to, like, show them, hey, I can't put my money into a company that acts this way, uh, some fucking be it, dude. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And that's just my opinion on everything. And uh, peace.